Now that you have some experience working with the context, we're going to explore the global context feature. The global context allows for multiple nodes to share information in any flow. This information is not stored in the payload, but separately in the global context. To begin, we're going to use two inject nodes, two debug nodes, and two function nodes and wire them into two separate flows. In the first function node, we're going to name it part one and type context.global.hello is equal to a function that returns a string. And we're going to set the payload equal to this function. What this function is doing is creating the global context hello object, which triggers a function call that returns a house divided. We then save the first part of the quote in the payload so that the first debug node can display the information. Now click done. In the second function node, we're gonna name it part two and add message.payload is equal to the function that we just created plus another string. And now we are done. Click deploy and inject part one and then part two. Now on the debug console, we see two messages, one displaying the payload from part one and the second displaying the payload from part two, completing one of Abraham Lincoln's most famous quotes, a house divided against itself cannot stand. The global context is very useful because it can pass information between different functions, nodes, and flows. Think of the global context as similar to any global variable, where the information can be accessible to all nodes in any flow.